What's good everybody, it's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to use auto-tune in your beats to make some pretty dope ambient type of sounds. Not sounds, but more like vocal runs and chants and stuff like that. And show you just the power of auto-tune. I know a lot of people don't like auto-tune, but I'm going to show you why auto-tune is still a great plugin to have and to own it. You should use it regardless if you own it or not. How would you use if you don't own it? Anyway, let's play the beat so we can see exactly what you're going to be learning. So there we go right there. I'm gonna show you guys how I made that cool little chant sound. And I'll also show you how I did that little vocal run sound. So you can do the exact same thing as well. But don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud somewhere down there in the screen below. Follow me there, doing 30 day beat challenge, having fun, follow along. But anyway, let's get to the video. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to use auto-tune in order to make some really cool type of ambient sounds like chants and vocal runs. Why? Because I feel like, you know, the typical thing to use auto-tune with is the, for your favorite trap rappers we already know that but i feel like it's even better when you use it to put in the beat now this is not no new concept by the any mean a couple people been doing it i've seen people do it before it is what it is i decided to spirit with it with myself i've done it in the past a long time ago but never really i got into it again since i got the new efx but i will show you guys how to do this without using any third party i guess auto tune plugin so this is what we're going to be doing right here so we're making this sound right here And then we're also gonna be doing this chant right here, this vocal run. And that's just me singing a little vocal run and me doing a little chant. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it, but I'm gonna be using a stop plugin, but feel free to use any auto-tune plugin that you own yourself. So first off, let's go ahead and do this chant. So the easiest way to do it is first, I need to go ahead and set up my microphone to record inside FL Studio. So one second. Let me fix the lens. The lens. Now my latency is still pretty bad. So I'm just going to turn off all the plugins that are already on there. Like I said, I did use EFX and I use this effect called your Vo or Vox, which I did a full review of this plugin, EFX Plus. Basically, it's just like a doubler and then a tube effect and then a little bit of filtering, which we can easily replicate that. And then I use this, excuse me, I use this vintage verb from uh, the guys at Valhalla DSP. So I'm just going to go ahead and add picture wherever that is let's see picture because picture is a auto-tune plugin it's the default one uh the b is a f minor so we're going to go to f and then minor so and we're going to have to retune speed the fast so it should go Ooh, ah, ah. so there you go right there if i want to get that kind of coursey effect that i had there's few ways to do it the easiest way to do it is actually to go where is it let me see if i can find it if you go to isotope.com you actually get a plug-in 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 plug -in. vocal doubler and it's free Ooh. so yeah you can go to isotope.com and you can go get this vocal doubler effect and it's absolutely free and it's a great way to get a cool double effect so i can add a little bit of variation to it and then add a little bit of spread to it so when i turn it on it should give me like a little cool chorus effect it should give me a cool little chorus effect. 
Yeah, that sounds good. So that's a free plugin. And then like I'm gonna use my hard DSP, but feel free to use like fruity or verb two or whatever. Doesn't really matter. You just want to make it really spacious, really ambient sounding. So now we have this. And that's how I did. And that's how I did. So I'm just gonna bring this down real quick. And now we're gonna just record a chant. So here we go. Let's put that. Make sure it's on record. turn all the effects off so what i did right there is basically i just got a bunch of different takes you know what i can if you want to you can kind of you don't have to do it with the reverb you can add the reverb afterward it might make it a little easier for you but you know it's what it is so i can just double click in here right click and then go to edit 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 you know hit edit audio now it brings up an edison i'll just do this i'll just normalize it and then close down and then i just listen through it and find one i like the most <laughs> I think I like this one right here, so I'm just gonna highlight this one. You know, zoom in, make sure I get all that all that goodness right there, and then we're just gonna trim it down. And then, oh good lord, okay. And then we we'll just cut off some of this fat, and then turn my snapping off. Uh, snap to zero crossing. Yeah, and then we'll cut that. We'll cut it, and I should have a simple little chant. Yeah, that works. And I'll just cut this little tail off right here. And just don't need that. And there you go. Now what you can do is you can go into here and you can just drag it into your actual playlist right there. Where the Edison go? It should be this one right here. And I can just drag it up in here like that. And now I have a sample. And then I could just go, where's my other one at? Uh, ambient clamp, put it right there, paste it. And now I have an ambient clap. So if I go up in here, and if I mute this one, I just drop some money. Easy way to make a quick little chant. Now, if you make some vocal runs, make that kind of ambient vocal run that I made right here. Easy, just as easy as the other thing. Pretty much gonna be the same technique, but we're just gonna do kind of a little run type thing. So let's go ahead and mute that and go ahead and add my effects back on my voice. So. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course, because I said we're going to tweak it anyway. So if I go to my edit right here and I go to, you know, once again, hit edit audio, spring to Edison. We'll just clean all this off because we don't need that. And then I might need to zoom in a little more, clean it up a little more. And then, all right. Can you cut that, please? Thank you. <laughs> Okay, and then I just trim this down, and then we'll just trim that fat off, and then boom. Might need to go in and cut that little bit right there. And then, matter of fact, it's set to the edit properties, sync the tempo, accept. There we go. 
Okay, so there we go. Yeah, sync the tempo. And what I did right there, I just kind of synced it to the tempo. That way I can kind of cut it properly. So I can put my snap back to grid and then I can just make sure that's going to cut properly. All right, so here we go. Cool, 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 cool. And how I got that kind of smearing, blurry effect, it's just this little liquefied tool, the blur effect. Just turn that on, give a little bit of blur, how much amount you can preview it. Accept that. It's going to blur it. Dope. And then I just dragged it right into the playlist like so. Delete that. And then when I zoom in, I just paste it. And then here we go. And pre it's pretty simple. I mean, there's really nothing to it. I don't need to go any further. Pretty much experiment with it, put on all tone, and just crank it out. Let me switch my microphones back, of course, so we can get to that good vocal sound. And that's exactly how I use auto tune to make these kind of cool vocal chants and vocal runs. Like I said, you don't need a third party auto tune like auto tune EFX plus. It does help because it has a cool effects inside of it. But if you got just a stop plug in, a little bit of stop plug in, a couple little free plug in like that one at iTope, make sure I put a link in the description below. You can get that yourself. It's absolutely free. And then it's any kind of reverb or delay or anything like that, even other effects like flanger courses, gross beats, you can use anything, but just couple that with auto tune and just do some vocal runs. It's going to sound good. You put in the beat mix it down use that effect chop it up a little bit easy it's just going to be a way to enhance your beats just in case you're missing some gaps or it doesn't sound the way you want to it doesn't sound full throw some vocals in there i guarantee you it's going to fill out the gaps and make your beat and take your production to a whole new level and another step so try it out see how it is and like i said you don't even know how to have to know how to sing in order for this to work which is a plus so with that being said, I hope you guys do like always. Y'all know who it is, your boy Slim, aka Miss Different. It's late at night. I am sleepy as hell. I'm not motivated with money, but like, comment, subscribe, and views. Like always, hope you guys enjoy. If you got any suggestions or some ideas or something you do as well, let me know in the comments below. I want to see what you guys are doing as well. Are you using these techniques for your beats? Because if you ain't doing it, try it out. And if you are, let us know what you do to get your vocals to stand out. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.